What's up, y'all? Got another haul to share with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna try to do this. I think I I achieved it in the last haul, right? Fairly fairly quick, quick and easy haul. Light on rambling. Um, so let's jump right into these. Uh, first up, got another sweet ass Power Rangers tee with Japanese logo, but again. Um, I'm not 100% sure if you can read Japanese. Maybe you can tell me. I'm pretty sure that is Power Rangers in Japanese and not the original. I forget the, the, the original Sentai name of, of the original Power Rangers. Um, but you know, with the, uh, the lightning strike and everything, I'm pretty sure, well, you know, it, you can see there, uh, Power Rangers. So, yeah, and only $6.99 at Ross. It was thanks to the bro, Chris, Rexflex, all 69. He gave me the heads up that he found this uh, at his his nearby Ross, which he calls the Ghetto Ross. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not too far from me, but it's a little out of the way, so I rarely go to that one. Um, but I had to go after he found that, you know, in his size, which is either XL or double XL and, and I'm a small I was like you know what I got I need that I need that so I went there on the chance of finding it and yeah they had it this is probably now my favorite Power Rangers shirt I just love the image how it's an actual photo and not just like uh I've seen a lot of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers shirts um that are it's like drawings or some sort of other form of artwork, but not an actual photo. Um, and it has that distressed look, like it's like it's vintage, which is pretty cool. I don't I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's pretty cool. That's all I can say, man. But the image itself and the photo of the team right there is just sweet as hell with the Japanese text. Anyway, uh, I don't want to ramble too long. I got some figures. Yeah. Uh, got a little mix of some some four inch or or three and three quarter uh, and some six inch. So one little thing I'm gonna ramble about. I was I was chatting with um with Kyle, um you know being torn between four inch and six inch, um you know and I mentioned several times probably in every haul for the past few hauls that I've been getting back into four inch figures that. You know, I'm on a bit of a four inch figure kick, but you know what? It, it by no means means that I'm going to focus more on one uh, or quit, you know, or cut, cut back. Well, I mean, because the thing is, I'm cutting back in general. Um, and so at this point, you know, being on a little bit of a four inch kick, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit of half and half. Cause here's the thing. Well, I, I've kind of, you know, I basically haven't really collected four inch in a, in a while. You know, I was focusing on six inch. Um, but you know, it haven't gotten to the point or, okay, I'm, I'm rambling. So let me try to cut this short and sweet and to the point. Um, bottom line is. I'm gonna get both, you know. I'm cutting back in general anyway, as as you notice in the the you know not as many toy hauls, um, a lot of graphic tee hauls. Um, but even then, I'm trying to cut back on that too. Um, it's gonna be a mix. It's I just gotta I'm gonna cherry pick basically what I collect, with the exception of stuff like I like I always say the exception, clearance, clearance. Clearance or, or or discounted items from Ross, you know, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, ZD's discounts. Um, so anyway, and then with six inch and and four inch uh, at at regular price, I'm really gonna cherry pick only what I really feel I have to add to the collection. Uh, this being an example, somewhat because I only needed this for to finish my Lobo Collect and Connect figure. Um, you know, so I've been, I've been waiting to catch him for retail price on Amazon. Um, probably gonna throw him on eBay, uh, cause I really just wanted Lobo and, uh, I got all four of these and I'm really only keeping 
uh, the Batman Beyond. I already saw that guy. Um, still kind of on the fence with, with Kingdom Come Superman, but this guy is going to go up on eBay and I can finally build that Lobo. Um, and then, oh, another heads up from the bro, Chris, Rex Vex All 69, uh, right by that same Ross where that was, uh, at the Walmart, which is in the same shopping center, just up the parking lot. He found some of these vintage collection figures for only two fifty. It was only Supreme Leader Snoke and Jen Erso and the First Order Stormtrooper, which I should have asked him to just grab it for me when he found them, or at least when he showed me that he found them. Um, I went there hoping to grab that First Order Stormtrooper. Yeah, for for three bucks, two fifty. Hell's yes. Uh, already, well, wasn't really interested in the Haas soldier. Although for two fifty, I would have grabbed him. I guess I would have grabbed Kylo Ren as well. Uh, already have that Ray from her original four inch Black Series release, uh, and and Jin as well. So that left me with Snoke, the only one there that I still didn't have, which I I don't entirely need. But again, for two fifty, why not? A couple of Stranger Things figures on clearance at Target. Sorry, this has gotten a little longer than I anticipated, but still, if I can keep it under 10, I think I've done a, a good enough job. So $3.98, $3.98 on these. Not bad. So, yeah, there you guys have it. Um, One thing. Oh, I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> I said I was going to show the the figure that I got from, from the last haul, the, the, the Halo um, blind bag figure, which it was indeed the pink Spartan that I was I was hoping for. So maybe in the next one, and maybe I'll I'll throw Lobo together and show him as well in the next haul. So there you guys have it. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching.